Ana California, where crews have been working around the clock on part of a major dam in danger of failing and causing a t catastrophe there. More than 180,000 people were forced to evacuate their homes. Tonight, those evacuation orders remain in effect. This is happening in the town of Oroville, just northeast of San Francisco. Water levels in Lake Oroville have dropped, stopping water from spilling over. Channel 2 Sarah Donchi is in the newsroom with new developments now out of California. Sarah. Yeah, Lauren, those developments are somewhat optimistic. After a scary scene at the nation's tallest dam, there is some progress being made there today. Tens of thousands of people are hoping for even more good news as they wait to go back home. The emergency spillway at one of the country's largest dams is in a state of emergency. They've got their work cut out for them filling that. Water levels in Lake Orville have dropped enough to stop the water from lapping over an eroded emergency spillway, easing some of the panic overnight that sent nearly 200,000 residents evacuating to higher ground. There's no water is flowing over the emergency spillway at this time. Late Sunday, crews spotted a 200 foot long, 30 feet deep hole on the lip of the dam's spillway. Engineers were told the dam could fail within the hour. A controlled release of water this morning is relieving pressure on the dam and buying officials much needed time as engineers and crews repair the breach in the main spillway and ease the erosion on the emergency spillway, which is the immediate concern. Our uh, infrastructure is holding up very well, even though it's been damaged. We just hope and pray that uh, it holds. Tom Scholz is a walnut farmer and president of the Feather River Levee Board. He says in 40 years of living in the area, they've never been in this situation. The river can hold that water, but if there have to be a breach of the dam, then it's a whole different story. More than 500 people showed up at this evacuation center in Chico and made do as organizers ran out of cots and blankets. The tractor trailer with additional supplies got stuck in gridlock traffic. I'm stressful and crazy. Stress that rolls downstream through dozens of communities living in fear of a 30 foot high wall of water coming through now after years of drought. We thought the crews in Orville are making the most of clear weather to shore things up there and drop the lake's level. But a forecast of three to five inches of rain later this week could put them right back where they started in just a few, few days' time. Lauren and Bill, let's hope for the best there. Sarah, thank you.